So, um, what I'm going to talk about today is um, the aspect um, of software systems from the perspective of the end user. So, how do the different characteristics of our end users impact the way we engineer software systems? I'll give you some examples of these, and I'll give you a, a counter example of when not adequately taking these into account is a major problem. Then I'll talk about some of our recent work in this area. So, I'll give you several examples um, from requirements, design, uh, implementation, and testing phases of development where we've tried to address uh, this, this problem. I'll give a little bit of a research roadmap, um, and then I'll probably be running out of time, so someone's going to stop me, or I'll hopefully remember to stop myself, putting myself on timer, um, and I'll give you a brief summary of the, um, the key takeaways um, from the talk um, today. So why end user human aspects critical to consider uh, when we're engineering our software systems? So I'll give you a few examples. So um, one that's well known is uh, gender bias. And this manifests not only in software systems, but others as well. The, probably the worst one is seatbelts. So seatbelts are actually um, designed for average size males. Why is that? Because all the crash dummies are average size males. Um, now there's many other examples where this manifests in IT systems. So uh, men and women actually have a, a, a different in general problem solving style, but most of the UIs are designed by men, so they have a male oriented problem solving style. Um, when Apple uh, uh, released their health app, Apple Health, um, didn't have any support for tracking menstrual cycles. Um, why was this? Do you think you'd want to use a health app for well, with a no woman in the development team? Um, ethnic bias. So we've all heard terrible cases of uh, image recognition failing to to recognize faces of ethnic minorities. Um, we have heard stories about um, police using um, biased data sets to um, over, over um, uh, 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 survey uh, ethnic and, and uh, low socioeconomic groups in society. Uh, there's a whole bunch of cultural biases that turn up. So in, in certain cultures, um, you don't use certain ways of presenting information and speak about information or iconic forms or even colors. Um, and of course, um, many developers are unaware of this, so if they do that. Um, language bias, so again, we software engineers, we've got multiple degrees. We're high socioeconomic group. We tend to use jargon food language. Um, we don't tend always to know the, the kind of dialects that some of our users prefer to use and therefore we produce interfaces um, that are oriented towards our style of talking, if you like. Um, <clears throat> there's also a lot of age bias. In fact, we've got a, a paper in NAs this, 